Hello everyone, it's Diego Doom here. Today I'm bringing you another review. Today I'll be reviewing X Plus D for Real series Shin Godzilla. This particular form of Shin Godzilla comes from the 2016 film Shin Godzilla, also known as Godzilla Resurgence. At this point, we should all know the history of Shin Godzilla. If not, to learn more about Shin Godzilla and see more fantastic Shin Godzilla figures, Click the card on screen right now. This particular Shin Godzilla figure is a part of the new D for Real series created by X Plus. The D for Real line seems to be dedicated to creating super deformed figures of our favorite kaiju. Be sure to check out the 2016 film Shin Godzilla. It's a great film. X Plus D for Real series Shin Godzilla is a superb release in the D for Real line. Shin Godzilla has a superb sculpt and superb paint applications. Unlike our other X Plus figures, Shin Godzilla does not require any assembly. Let's jump right into it and take a look at Shin Godzilla himself. When it comes to sculpt and paint apps, Shin Godzilla is surprisingly superb. Starting from the top, we have Shin Godzilla's massive head. The first thing you'll notice are the nicely detailed and textured scales with a dark charcoal gray paint app. In between the cracks of the scales, we have a crimson paint app peering through. I'm really impressed with the texture and depth of the scales on this figure. The scaly eyebrows are huge, adding to his freakishly cute look. The eyes have a nice smooth sculpt with a glossy off-white paint app for the eyes and a black paint app for the pupils. The eyeballs themselves protrude pretty far out of the socket, giving Shin Godzilla an extreme look. The snout is huge and full of scaly details. Shin Godzilla's nose manages to stand out amongst the scales. Moving down, we have the massive mouth with tons of sharp teeth. The teeth have a fantastic textured and detailed semi-sharp sculpt with a dirty bone paint app with crimson weathering. The teeth on this figure look so cool, they look like an absolute death trap. The chest has a nice scaly muscular sculpt. We have the signature chest protrusion in the collarbone area. The shoulders are massive with scaly creases and folds. The arms have a tiny thin sculpt with a crimson paint app. The claws are tiny and have an underdeveloped look. They kind of remind me of Deadpool's hand when it was growing back. Moving down to the lower waist, we can see Shin Godzilla's massive scaly gut. We can see more of the crimson paint app peeking through the scales. The legs and thighs are just as massive with more scaly creases and folds. The feet have a great sculpt with long, weathered, dirty bone, white, semi-sharp toenails. Spin around to the back, we have the dorsal fins. The dorsal fins are individually sculpted with a charcoal paint up for the body and crimson red cracks. Moving down the back, the dorsal fins become smaller as we reach the tail. The tail has a very nice, long, scaly sculpt. We can see more of our crimson red paint app peeking through the various segments of the tail. The dorsal fins taper down into various small bumps as we reach the top of the tail. Once we reach the very end of the tail, we have the signature unique tail tip. The tip has a very nicely textured and detailed sculpt with a dirty bone paint app. At the very end of the tail, we have our gruesome face with the mouth wide open. This face reminds me of the dream demons from Freddy's Dead. As a whole, this super deformed take on Shin Godzilla is truly superb. I'm really surprised and stunned at how well this figure turned out. I honestly was not expecting this figure to look so cool and be so detailed. Now, I'm super excited for the second form of figure which should be released later this month. Now, let's talk about Shin Godzilla's pose. Shin Godzilla is in his standard poster pose and it looks fantastic. I think this pose perfectly complements the bizarre look of this figure. Shin Godzilla stands roughly four and a half inches tall and six inches head to tail. This is a small figure that can fit anywhere in your collection or it can be the perfect companion on your desk. Now, let's do some size comparisons.
To conclude the review, X Plus D For Real series Shin Godzilla is a superb release in the D For Real line. Shin Godzilla has a superb sculpt and superb paint applications. This figure is definitely very nice, very neat, and very cool. I absolutely recommend picking this figure up. Be sure to check out the 2016 film Shin Godzilla. It's a great film. This has been another review by Diego Doom. Thank you very much for watching and please stay tuned for more figure reviews. To see the unboxing of this figure or more X Plus reviews, click the links on screen. Be sure to follow me on social media and remember, like, comment, share, and subscribe.